up guys this is Adam from 3dmodelsworld.com welcome to another Maya tutorial and today we're gonna create the z-depth pass in Maya and it's gonna be a workaround we're not gonna use like uh, Arnold or Mental Ray to create the z-depth pass we're just gonna create it using a Maya software uh, and using some folk techniques to do that and then after we do the z-depth in Maya I'm just gonna show you quickly guys how you can comp this in After Effects as well so stay tuned to the end of the video to show you how to do that in After Effects so without further delay let's get started okay so this is the scene I have uh, you can see I have the aircraft carrier and I have the some F-18s uh, planes on it uh, spread out ready for action and uh, first thing we need to do is uh, we need to create the C depth using uh, a Maya software uh, fog pass. So if you go here to the Maya software under that uh, render options and you can see here we can create an environment fog. So this is how we're gonna create this uh, Z depth so it'll allow us to add it in comp and also will allow us to have like a kind of like an atmospheric effect in our scene. So before we add this one, first we need to split up the, our uh, render into two layers. The first one, we can have this uh, ship as uh, the Arnold render, just render it like the regular passes, like diffuse and beauty pass. And then the second render layer, we're gonna have that uh, as a Maya software uh, layer. So to do that, let's go to the render setup editor. And here, uh, let's first select everything we need to add to our layer which is basically need to be everything we don't need to add the camera just all the stuff here and we don't have to add the lights as well okay so then let's click on this uh, to add a new layer and uh, you can name it uh, like z depth and then uh, let's create right click and then create a collection okay so this collection basically we're gonna add all these 3d models to it and we can keep it like collection one doesn't really matter for now the naming and then let's click on this button add so basically we added everything here into this layer okay so we can click on it when you click on this eye you can basically select it and then you click on this one which is this is the master layer you can say uh, for our scene okay and if you want to make it make sure you want it to render make sure this is highlighted here if it's not highlighted then it's not gonna render so let's make sure it's gonna be rendered and now we need to assign a material override to all these uh, uh, models in our scene and to do that let's select the collection and then right click on it and then let's create material override click on that one you can name it uh, whatever you want I'm gonna leave it uh, as default for now and then here in the override let's click on this one and then let's uh, select uh, Lambert for this material since we're gonna using Maya software Lambert will work uh, just fine let's highlight that uh, layer again okay so now the Lambert is assigned to everything in our scene and we are on the proper layer now okay next thing to do let's select the layer again okay next thing we need to do is um, let's uh, assign um, Maya software to render this uh, a layer so it doesn't go to Arnold okay, so let's go to the render settings and since we already switched to my software we can do that so under the render layer let's create an absolute override so now it's gonna use my software for this one and then let's select our scene which is the main layer this is for the beauty pass and now it's also uh, used uh, for my software let's change that to Arnold okay and then uh, you can change here all the information like chip render let's use png for this layer and then uh, let's make sure we use the animation which is 48 frame for now we can select 48 let's select our camera i'm just quickly doing this setup for this scene and then if we go to the z depth sometimes you don't get the same image format so what you can do is create a, an override and change it to the format you want so in this case it's a png I just wanted to show you guys that this sometimes doesn't update so just keep an eye on that 
Okay, so now both are good. So let's go to the Maya software. And uh, let's scroll down to the render options. And let's click on this button to create the environment fog. Okay, so now we can close uh, the render setup. Let's close this window and then let's switch to our camera. Okay, and then let's do a quick render. Okay, so now we're rendered and you can see it doesn't really look like a Z-depth yet. So, because Z-depth we want to make sure uh, everything is black and then the white is where it's going to be the camera and uh, you know, start to having depth of field or you can reverse them in After Effects. So let's select uh, any part of the models here and then let's go to the Lambert that we just created and let's make it black. And the diffuse is also black, so everything become black here. So let's save this and then let's render. Okay, so now you can see we got like a proper Z depth uh, pass where we have like a variation between the black and white. And th this is how we're gonna create the uh, depth in uh, After Effects, for example. So let's go to the render settings here and then let's click on this arrow. So this way we can access the settings. And we can here like do some tweaks on this uh, pass. For example, we can tone down how much uh, white in the scene and we can put like 300 and this uh, saturation distance, so just not as intense. So now as you can see, it's become a more uh, natural looking. Yeah, so this is gonna help us to have a proper depth pass and after effects and also you can use this as a environment as I mentioned like a, you know environment fog or atmospheric effect of course you're not gonna use it this intense so you can definitely use it for other purpose than just uh, Z depth so for this section this is done in Maya we don't really need to do anything else like this is how you can uh, set up a quick Z depth workaround if you don't want to use Arnold or if you're using Mentoray and having a hard time creating a Z depth this is a really quick way to do that and uh, now we're gonna go to After Effects and I'm gonna show you guys how you can comp this pretty quickly in After Effects and get pretty good results. Okay, so now we have the Beauty Pass and the Depth Pass in our scene. So let's grab the Beauty Pass, the new comp. And this is what we have, the render. And then let's grab the Depth Pass. And this is the current Depth Pass that we render with Maya software. Okay, now to apply the depth as a lens blur, Let's hide it first and let's go to the beauty and let's try to click, go to effects, blur and sharpen and then camera lens blur. Okay and you can see everything get blurred because we don't have a layer selected. So let's go here under the blur map in the layer section and let's select the depth. And instantly you can see how the objects close to the camera they become in focus and then the further ones become out of focus. So you can play with this invert blur map, this way we're gonna switch the blur from uh, gonna basically flip the map and also you can adjust the blur focal distance this will allow you to animate and adjust the depth of field the way you want it so that's basically it for uh, applying a depth of field in after effects it's pretty simple and always just make sure to click on repeat edge pixels so this way uh, you don't have any weird uh, feathering on the edges so hopefully this tutorial help you guys, let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe for more future videos. Feel free to check our website 3 for more tutorials and cool 3D assets. Until next time, take care.